Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. I'm Kathy and I garden in Zone 5B6A in Northwest Ohio and it's April the 27th and we've got some really nice weather, weather today. I think we're in the 60s and I've been out working in my garden and I just wanted to share with you what is starting to come up in my Southeast native garden. I'll be right back. This is my southeast native garden and it's maybe 12, 13 feet by 10 feet at the widest, 15 maybe by, by 10. And look what we've got going here. Right here we have New England Aster. This is the fourth year for this New England Aster. And it is spreading to right there. So that's a good thing. And let's see what else we've got going on here. Here we have some Rattlesnake Master that has been moving all over this garden. It started right there. That was the original planting. And it is moved over here. And it has moved down here. And over here. And all the way over here. And there's some right there. And this is the mystery plant. We'll see what this turns out to be. I say if in doubt let it sprout so I did picture this on it and it identified it as three different plants said it was either purple cone flower or smooth blue aster and there was one more and I don't remember what the other one was so we'll see what that turns out to be now this area here that looks empty I'm hoping the spotted bee bomb comes back up here and there should also be some whorled milkweed in this area that hasn't come up yet so we'll hope that comes up a little later on the milkweeds always come up a little later but I was hoping the monarda would start coming up by now the spotted bee bomb and if we come over here this is a golden Alexander which jumped across the pathway because I've got a big patch of it on in the bed behind me now around on the back side all along this back edge here is Joe pie weed and that hasn't started coming up yet so we'll still be waiting on that there's a couple of rattlesnake masters that are popping up but I will probably dig those out and move them somewhere else but out here in the middle is my wild bergamot and that is starting to sprout I've got two big clumps of it here and you can see that it has started sprouting so that's good so that will fill up the center of this bed and I always get a lot of that and it always gets powdery mildew and I always have to cut it back that usually gives me two flushes of flowers out of it down here on the far end is the Ohio spiderwort and that's coming in real good it looks like grass but it's not it's a plant and it will have pretty purple flowers on it soon now there was some more spotted bee bomb here last year and it's not coming up yet so we'll just have to wait and see and then there's another wild bergamot 
and this is where the wild quinine was last year and it's not coming back yet but I expect it to and then down here is and I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera or not but right in there in between those sticks stalks sticking up is purple milkweed and I'm real happy to see that coming back they're just little teeny tiny sprouts but they are coming back and then here is a nice clump of little blue stem it's a native grass the big clump hasn't started showing any green yet but this little clump here beside it you can see there's just a little bit of green in there so that's it for my southeast native garden it's coming in nice I'm real happy with the growth that it's showing so far because we've had a pretty cold spring especially the last couple of weeks but things are starting to sprout up and looking good so thanks for watching I hope your gardens are sprouting as well as mine we'll see you in the next one bye bye